Hello, everybody. This is Hana, your Relationship Mastery Mentor. Well, it's the day after Mother's Day, right? You survived. I came on because I feel I have a real message for you today. I am an older single woman. My children do not live near me. One is in Israel, one is in Phoenix. And yesterday, hi, Jerry, yesterday, I was in a lot of groups, as I am always on Facebook, and I saw, what did I see? Not, some of you are fine. You had a great Mother's Day. I'm not talking to you. But I saw a lot of empty nesters, single women whose children don't live with them, husbands who had no sensitivity to what the mothers were feeling. But there was so much pain, so much angst, so much child bashing. My kid hasn't called. It's almost the end of the day here. They still haven't called. Do you think they'll call? Uh, my kids are so selfish. They didn't have time to come, but they wanted to know if they could drop by a card. Would it be hateful if I said no? It wouldn't be hateful. It would be hurtful to you. Ladies, what mountain do you want to die on top of? Your children, I'm talking adult children. Maybe they don't live near you. Maybe they're off at college. Maybe their jobs took them somewhere. Maybe they're estranged from you. I get it. It's painful. But here's what you're looking for. All of you empty nesters or single for whatever women with children are looking for love in all the wrong places. You're looking for your fulfillment from outside of yourself, from your children, as on yesterday. It could be from the husband. It could be from the best friend. That isn't where it comes from. If you want to feel good, happy, aligned, energetically vibrational on a day-to-day -day sustainable basis, it all comes from you. The work that I do with my clients and I achieve with them, why? Because I've achieved it in my own life, is to learn how to build a quality of life, whether anything in your life changes or not. So last night I was talking to one of my sons and I was telling him the pain and the angst and the victimization from the mothers that I saw and I was experiencing. And my son said something that I thought was quite on target. He said he believes it's because most children don't know the value of what a parent is in their lives. Most kids don't know the value of a parent having a parent in your life. So I said, well, that must mean that I bring value to you because we're very connected. He said, absolutely. And the other thing that I want to bring to that is that I know when my boys speak to me, it's fun. We love it. I'm their advocate. I support everything. Now, I remain a mother, and I tell them always what they need to hear if they need to hear something. Beautiful women, my question for you is, do you know your own value as a woman, as a wife, as a mother, as a friend? Do you know what you bring to the table? Do you know why your best friends want to be friends with you? Do you know why your kids want engagement with you or don't? Have you ever had the conversation? I certainly encourage you to ask your children, what is it that you like about me that keeps us connected? What is it that I do, husband, that has turned you silent and against us? Now, here's the key, audience. <laughs> If you ask this question, you've got to be prepared for the answer. And you may not like it. But if you seriously want to get a handle and a grip on you, on your life, and your relationships, you have got to know your value or lack thereof. You see, most women do not 
know how to celebrate themselves because they don't know what to celebrate. So if you ask and you get an answer that you're not interested in hearing or never dreamt or you thought that's not true, don't argue with them. Simply listen and take it as feedback. You can always come back and have a different conversation about it. But here's what I want to tell you. Stop looking outside of yourself for the love that you don't feel for yourself inside. If you don't know your value, nobody else will identify it for you either. It's me. If you don't know that, if you can't state what your value is, I know my value. I'm fun, I'm frisky, I'm magnetic, I'm feminine, I'm inspirational. Um, I'm not victimized. What can you say about you? This is so important, beautiful people, because the reason you keep crashing and burning is you're looking for the validation from elsewhere. You're dancing on the tables, you're juggling the balls, you're working harder and faster to be validated, see what I do, see how overwhelmed and breathless I am. Those should not be your badge of honors. I'm sorry. Somebody's got to say it like it is. For those of you that had a painful Mother's Day, I'm sorry because, yes, it does hurt. But, you know, I keep reading the post today and you know what they say. Well, it's another day I woke up. My daughter's really not that bad. My son did call it. 1159 and didn't let me really that's the roller coaster ride you want to be on not at this age ladies <laughs> come on it's up to you you are i'm assuming most of us here are like i am in the second half of life if you're still riding that roller coaster and looking for your validation outside of you from everybody else that can't sustain the validation because they have their own lives and their own problems and their own issues, you're looking for love in all the wrong places. I work one-on-one -on -one with people. I work with clients. Hi, Debbie. I work, uh, I have a private Facebook group. You're welcome to join. Relationship Mastery with Confidence and Dignity. You have got to start reworking and retraining your mind. It's possible. It's doable. I did it in my life. And I love nothing more than helping women do it in theirs. Get off the wrong train going nowhere and get on the train toward the life you really want to live. It's never too late and it's never too early. I love you. I'm Hannah Gilman, your Relationship Mastery Mentor. Bye, everybody.